Nine points allowed in the second half through these four games for Penn State's defense. What does that say about the group and how resilient it is when the first half doesn't necessarily go according to plan? How you're able to make those adjustments on the fly as a whole group? I would like to say that shows our composure. And, and like you said, the resilience of the defense is its own in itself. So I would just like to say just as long as we continue to make adjustments at half and, and Fix the first half, we'll be fine. How are the defensive backs doing in run defense? I mean, the 4 2 5 is naturally going to be prone to some bigger run plays, but I feel like the defensive backs have a big part in holding an Illinois team to 39 rushing yards. I actually say our front seven did a good job of not letting anything get to us today. We didn't really have to make that many tackles, but just Coach Terry just being heavy on, on run defense, like, you know, run support, filling your gap. If you got to come up and make a tackle, get your nose dirty. And I think we do a great job of doing that when we need to. Do you feel that this defense made a statement with the way it played in that second half? Uh, yes, but it's still a lot of room for improvement. Uh, we still got to go in tomorrow and clean up some things. So it was definitely a statement, but it's still so much more to be done. And what do you think needs cleaned up? Um, just the way that we can start the game. I believe that we can play a cleaner brand of football, uh, the penalties, and I believe that you know, we can definitely clean up some aspects of that. So going into next week against UCLA, how can you build off this big win tonight over Illinois? Uh, just go in, watch film, and you know, we didn't play a perfect game of football and just clean up the things that we know need to be fixed. Uh, the penalties, the start of the game, and you know, just stay dialed in throughout the whole week. Thank you. No problem. Thanks, Adrian.